Hi, Dimitri here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to construct this model. It's fully parametric in the sense that if we change one property, let's say I change this parameter here, the whole model, if I hit refresh, the whole model adjusts itself. So let's see how this is built. First I have a sketch, a very simple sketch, which I call Sight. And it's got width and length. The length I've given a name. So the next element that I've done is create a master sketch. Let's turn this last element. So if we go inside of the master sketch, so all the orange constraints, dimensional constraints, they're relative to other constraints. For example, this one here, four meters, is relative to the edges of the sketch of the side constraint. And then I've set up some other ones like width here, the radius, and so on. So again, when I adjust the site, let's make it 65 meters and refresh, and then it adjusts itself. So with this sketch, I call this the master sketch. The first thing that I did was just simply extrude it. After it was extruded, I created a pocket out of another sketch. This sketch is mapped here, it's meant and it goes up to this top face over there. Then with another sketch, I extruded I subtracted another part, which is this edge here. So the idea of this sort of concept is that one side is a little bit taller than the other side. This bit, this this pocket dot zero zero two, is another subtraction again. We subtract from this element over here. Now this is the really interesting part. I have a profile. Uh, let's see if we can show you better. So this profile here. Let me turn off some of these sketches. This profile is looping around these edges on the top. So let's see what it does. So now I've removed those top bits. So the really nice thing is if I go and adjust this profile, let me go to orthographic mode here. And I will turn off um, all other elements. So let's say we want this to be a little bit taller and maybe a little bit deeper. Just need to connect these guys here. I don't have too many constraints. Let's get rid of that constraint. There you go. So I'll close now. And we have an updated mass. Probably make it a little bit thinner. Let's do something like that. And again, all of this is parametric in the sense that if I change a setting in my master sketch, Let's change this here. Let's make it 12 meters. That's the change between that element and that element. Now I hit refresh. So that's the updated sketch. It's going a little bit off of what I said was my side, but that's okay. So going on, let's just make it 
I'm going to change it again, maybe 9. Okay. So, the next bit is that I chamfered the top bit, the top edge for the roof. And the last is very similar to this, where I added a profile. This time this profile is not related to the shape, but it's related to the master sketch. So I look, we can map these sketches to the normals of lines. So it's a very simple rectangle along this edge, which I then subtracted from the main volume. That's it. I hope you like it and let me know if you'd like to see anything else related to FreeCAD and architecture.